Okay, folks, this is a quick instructional video uh, on the subject of how to write HTML from memory in a Mac, uploaded from your Mac to your ISP, to your web space, and have it work. Okay? Uh, I'm a new Mac user. I've been using uh, PCs for many years before then, Capros. Never had a Mac until about um, less than four weeks ago. Um, I got my first Mac just because I got sick of so many people telling me how much better Macs are. And I don't know. The jury's still out on that one yet for me. Okay. But one thing I had a problem with with a Mac is writing HTML from memory like those of us who've been doing it for a while do. And, and I did not want to use their web program, their uh, web page program, which is called iWeb that comes with the Macs. I want to write it from memory like I've always done, just on a blank page, and upload it like that. Just put the extension htm, html on it, and upload it to my uh, my server. And um, I couldn't do it. I, I didn't know how to do it. So I, I went to the quote-unquote genius bar at the local uh, Apple store. And I'd been warned before I, I went there that um, you'll find a lot of things there, but geniuses won't be one of them. And sure enough, I mean, you know, these guys are pretty knowledgeable, but... Um, they didn't know how to do this. They acted like it was uh, like I had two heads. This thing's fading out. Act like I had two heads when I said I wanted to write. You know, why do you, why do you want to do that? Why don't you just use the machine? Well, I said to that guy, I said, uh, I guess you don't drive a stick, huh? And he said, No, why? And I said, Well, because you'd have to drive a stick to know why it's better than an automatic. And the same thing with uh, using iWeb as opposed to just writing HTML. So I'm going to show you how to do this as quickly as I can. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to open text edit in the Mac. Now I've already, to save time here, I have written a little HTML. Okay, boom. Here, very simple page that just says this is a test page written in HTML in a Mac and uploaded to my web space from that Mac. Oh, then there's something else here I didn't mean to have in. Hi, those two are really funny, blah blah blah. That's not supposed to be there. Okay, all right, so I got rid of that. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to go up to format. Can you guys see that format? Format. Make plain text. Okay, convert this document to plain text? Yes. Okay, back up to file. Hmm? Save as. Go down here. We're going to put in the title. Test.ht. Oops. Look what I did. Test. Dot. Not comma. HTM. Right. Then, big trick. You're going to go down here where it says, if no extension is provided, use TXT. You want to uncheck that, right? And save. Okay, so you uncheck that and save. Boom. Okay, now we can get rid of this. The next thing we're going to do, I'm going to open Applications. And I downloaded a little program that is free called FileZilla. Okay, we're going to open FileZilla. Now, let me just turn this thing off for a second so I can put in my personal information up on top and FileZilla there. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I, I did that. Now we're going to quick connect in FileZilla. Boom. And there are my all my files that are already on the web, right? Other files that have nothing to do with the one we just did, right? That just happened to be there anyway. Now. See this one? That's the one we just created, and this is it on my hard drive, right? Test.htm, right? I'll take that, I'm going to drag it over and put it on my server, and it just went. Okay? So it's on my server now, and we're going to check that out. What we're going to do is we're going to go here to this PC I got sitting over here. Huh? And we're going to boom, and there it is. So it is on the web in HTML. Right? Now, 
Here's something you do not want to do when you're doing all this. By the way, let's get rid of that. Let's go back to FileZilla. Did I close it? Yeah, doggone it. I'll get rid of it later. I'll get rid of it now. Hold on. Okay, I log back in using FileZilla. Watch how easy it is, though, on a Mac to get rid of things. Here, look. Right click, delete, boom, gone off my hard drive, and find it over here. Test and gone off the web. Watch. We'll reload that page and nothing. File not found because we just deleted it, right? Now, here's what you don't want to do. And this is, you know, one of the, the head geniuses at the Genius Ball, when nobody else could figure this out, told me that I should do this. Oh, it's easy. Oh, all you got to do is this. Well, guess what? Doesn't work. Here's that page again, right? Uh, is that thing that I well we'll leave it there for now what he said to do was to go up to file save as right and then down here where it says rich text format go down to save as web page HTML and hit save don't do it doesn't work I mean even if you've got your doesn't work. You know what happens when you upload that? I would do it just to show you. What goes up is the document source. So you're looking at the HTML, which of course nobody wants to look at. Not seeing any pictures, not seeing any background, not seeing anything but HTML. Okay, and that which is embedded in the HTML. So you don't want to do that. This is what the, um, the trainer at the Genius Bar told me I should do. And it doesn't work. Alrighty, so now we know how to do this. Uh, you know, I also, I had a problem with, I, I joined this Apple Care thing, cost like, with tax and everything, 180 something dollars. And I'm not sorry I did it, because it is good to have somebody to call when I want to do something like, uh, here, like install my external hard drive that I bought, you know, rather than mess around. With instructions, I called them and I had that thing set up in about five minutes. Okay, so they, they know how to do what they know how to do. But they sure don't know how to do anything like this. This background, by the way, is at Chard, not Chard, but Chard Farm uh, Vineyards. They make a wonderful Pinot Noir and a really good Pinot Gris, and they're in central Otago in the South Island of New Zealand, and that's me sitting there posing with the Chard Farm sign. That's uh, about a 20-minute drive from Queenstown, which is, this is just maybe, I don't know, I, you know, I can't say the most beautiful place in the world because I've not seen every place in the world, but I sure have been around and I've never seen any place prettier than that right there. And the Pinots from Chard Farm, their Rabbit Ranch line and their Chard Farm line, and their Pinot Gris from both lines, Rabbit Ranch and Chard Farm, are stupendous. And you really should try them sometime. Okay, so that's me sitting there. So that's my little instructional video, all right? Now, when you go to the Genius Bar, and, and they all sit there and shrug their shoulders and, and do what they did to me. They told me it could not be done. Just that one trainer said it could be done that way, and he was totally wrong. And when you call uh, AppleCare, and they tell you it cannot be done, and you must use iWeb, and you're sitting there thinking, this this um, this guy who owns um, Apple, the heck's his name? Jobs, Steve Jobs. It doesn't strike me as being an idiot, and he would have to be to um, to have made a um, a machine like this that couldn't handle writing HTML. Well, he didn't. He did not give you a good uh, FTP program, though. He should have put WSFTP on this thing, and he did not. Or FileZilla. I prefer WSFTP, and I use it when I'm, I'm using PCs. But FileZilla works fine, and WSFTP there's a charge for now. They're not giving it away free anymore. So there you go. Now you know how to do it, all right? You have any questions, you post them here, and I'll see. If I see the question, I'll get to you, and I'll help you out. Bye.